Do you speak Welsh? <laughs> Tip him back. Yeah, it's a tricky language, isn't it? It's very... Diano with that. It was pretty good effort. It did OK. did OK. Um, how's things? Yeah, very good. good. Very yeah. good. Looking yeah. forward to the weekend. Massively. Exciting times, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. How do you think... How impressed have you been with, with Wales so far? They have been impressive. They haven't really been playing that well, I don't think. I think England have been impressive as well. Um, so the two best teams in the tournament are facing each other on Saturday. So it's a huge one. Time to pull out a social stereotype as a bit of a prop. See what we've done here? What is it's, it? It's vaguely a leak. Oh, right. Vaguely oh, a leak. Right. It's, been, it's been art and craft here in the BT Sports studio. But inside, we have, uh, we have our scroll on your life. Now, the one that really leaps out is this decision that you had to make. Having been qualified for Wales and qualified for England, you chose to go with Wales. Was it ultimately a pretty easy choice? Very easy choice. It was a very easy choice. Um, all my rugby was... <laughs> Will Green was a really good I don't... player. <laughs> I don't smell, do I? Um, well, your dad played for Wales. He did, So that yeah. must have been a huge... Look, all, all my family live in Wales. Um, I was just the one who was born in England and grew up mostly in Wales. So I've been back and forth across the border, but... I did have a phone call at, uh, at one stage. Yeah, I, no, I love this. I love this. Tell, tell me about this phone call. Well, obviously, I was playing at, at Saracens, and I was 19 or 20, and I'd made the first team and was playing all right. And I was in training. After training, on the way back in the car, um, I was with David Flatman, and my phone ring, rings. And uh, being like 19 or 20, I pick up and go, what, what's up? And this... Uh... <laughs> we all remember that. We yeah. all did it. We, we all did it. Hopefully. Um, and this incredibly posh voice come on. And it's Tom, this is, this is Clive Woodward. And I was like, shut up. Who, who is this? Bracken, is this you? And then after about 10 seconds, uh, the realisation <laughs> sets in. that it's actually Clive Woodward ring me to see if I'd be... Um, see if I'd be part of the uh, Six Nations squad. So... Yeah, now, very, very quickly, mm -hmm. you got another phone call from Graham Henry. Yes. Yeah. Um... You're happy with the choice you made. Could have gone a different way. I mean, it could have been... I mean, we've, we've had a little bit of fun against, I say, arts and crafts. Look at some of these images here we got up there. This is, uh, this is how it could have been. <laughs> yeah. And then, how about that, then? <laughs> I never take a bad photo, so... You don't, do you? No. Look absolutely marvellous. No. Absolutely marvellous. Um, but what, you, what went through your mind, though, when you, when you... Suddenly you find yourself in a bit of a, a tug-of-war between England and Wales. I mean, for a young man, 20 years old, the ego must have been absolutely growing by the, by the <laughs> second. It was, it was a nice confidence booster, wasn't it, to get asked to, to be part of a, a squad. But and the first thing I did was ring my dad, and he didn't really know what to say either. Um, but luckily, the next day, Graham Henry ran me. Um, I was up in training that week. I got capped by the A's, so there was no turning back. But, you know, every part of me is Welsh. All my family lived there. It's, uh, it was hugely the right decision.